Hello, hello, hello. It's that time again, time for some good news. Hello and welcome. This is Christina here to share good news. It doesn't matter what your week has looked like, God is always up to something good. The Bible says that the Lord is good. He is our refuge and He cares for those in times of trouble. That is definitely some good news. Even through times of trial, God is still good. We must go through something in order to overcome. And the beautiful thing is God never leaves us nor forsakes us. He helps us in our times of trial. Here is Lucia Gaffley to share the goodness of God. Even through dark times, God has brought her and her family into the goodness of God. Hi guys, my name is Lucia Gaffley and I'm married to my husband Marcelino for happily married for over seven years. And I'm a qualified accountant. We also finished third year Bible school last year, where surprisingly I was the top student. So my journey, my testimony of what the Lord has done for me this year starts on the 26th of March, which was the day before lockdown. I took a pregnancy test because I was concerned about my weight gain and I found out that I was pregnant. So this left me quite, you know, in a state of shock and overwhelmed as to how am I going to get the finances? How are things going to work out now? Because of, you know my plans are now we have to rearrange things. So anyway, my husband and I came to terms with it, and then a month later, towards the end of April, I was informed that I would be retrenched. Then a couple of days later, I went for my first scan with my doctor, where I was informed that I was undergoing a miscarriage. So in the space of one week. My whole life was in upheaval and I had so many questions and I was completely overwhelmed as to what was going on in my life. And you know, the way that we dealt with it as a family was that we had Holy Communion regularly. We would, we would declare God's blessings and promises over our lives and we trusted Him as our provider. Above all, I trusted Him um, despite not understanding what was going on around me. Um, you know, like it says in Proverbs that we should trust in the Lord and lean not in our lot and lean not on our own understanding. Anyway, so um, I kept looking for work and six weeks later I found a job um, where the recruitment agents were actually a couple who are born again Christians. And they believed strongly that I was the candidate and they prepared me. I went through the process and it turns out that the three people interviewing me are all Christian. I'm now um, the manager of the admin and finance team at Sun Valley Primary School and you know what God has promoted me to be a manager despite the fact that we find ourselves in a recession in lockdown um, you know with, with all the uncertainty around us God has um, provided for me and he's actually done more than I can ask or imagine. God is so good and Lucia is so faith and hope filled. I am expecting to see what other good news God brings into her family. The Bible tells us, I have posted watchmen on the wall. They are never silent day or night. And we are called to be watchmen on the walls. Join us for 40 days of prayer in our Appeal to Heaven season. Here is Pastor Neville to share his heart on Appeal to Heaven. I'm Pastor Neville, not on my watch. Isaiah chapter 62 verse 6, we hear of watchmen who cry out day and night, who will not hold their peace. We're watchmen, you're a watchman, not only for your household, but for your family. And as we join together in this season of 40 days, we are making a declaration in the heavenlies, not on my watch will the enemy steal, not on my watch will he take from our family, not on my watch will he deprive us of what God has blessed us with. Prayer releases the power of prophecy. Join us for 40 days of prayer starting September 2nd through October 11th. And you can get your prayer book for only five rand, or you can go online and get it for free at ghcc.tv. Thank you so much for joining with us. If you have any good news, we want to hear it. Send us a message at ghcc.tv forward slash my story or on Facebook Messenger at GHCC fans. And if you want more good news, subscribe to our YouTube channel. And always remember, there's more good news out there. <laughs>